Hello, everyone. Welcome back. I feel like in this message, I'm gonna get right into it. Whoever you are, you've been experiencing some sort of moments and situations where you find yourself not being able to fit in, and maybe you felt this way since you were a kid. Has anyone told you that you're more mature than your age? The way you walk, the way you talk, the way you treat other people. It's always different. For some of you, people even come up to you and they're like, "Oh, I want to be you. I want to get a little bit of you, like literally." And more importantly, your dreams, your goals, how stubborn you are sometimes, how motivated you are, how you always have a feeling like it's almost a rage inside, a huge amount of energy, strong like a storm, because since you were born. You have been called to fulfill something grand, something more enormous than you can even conceive. You know, you are so much bigger than you can even think of. At some certain points of your journey, maybe you found yourself facing some real big troubles and even being isolated. Although I don't really believe in troubles. But somehow you still rose from the crash. Maybe you spent some days or months thinking about what is going on. But at the end of the day, you chose to stand still and keep walking towards the end of the tunnel, one step at a time. You know everything happens for your highest good, and because it's almost obvious for you to know that you're meant to stand out. You're meant to be special. You're meant to achieve your goals, no matter what the expectation, no matter what the situation. You trust yourself enough to be able to rise to the occasion, and that literally shocks people because your power, your strengths, are meant to inspire the world. You're meant to achieve the impossible. It's not easy, but you choose to do the work. You're almost like the alchemist. Everything you touch, everything you spend time to focus on, is a new success. Whoever I'm talking with, there's something illogic about you, something magical about you, and you know it and feel it from within. So don't try to dim yourself down and try to be normal just to fit in, and don't feel bad about your uniqueness. That is literally your divine gift. Use it and let it lead your way. Honey, sometimes you just don't realize how beautiful and talented you are and your ability to accomplish anything. How much do you want it, and how bad do you want it? You're at a pivotal, pivotal turning point. So, how much are you willing to let go of the old baggage of your limiting beliefs that used to help you and benefit you in the past? How much are you willing to put yourself out of the box and let yourself be seen and felt by the world? It is time. This message would not come to you if you were not ready. You know your value, and you know your worth. So, what do you want? What do you want? What do you need to let go of? What wound do you need to heal? What kind of self-talk do you need right now? Who do you see yourself as? Sit with yourself and ask yourself these questions. Okay. It is time for you to speak for yourself. It is time for you to show the world who you really are and who you want to be. Hold on to your vision. Hold on to your imagination. Hold on to even your illusional scenario. Yes, it may be illusional for some people, but when it works for you, and when you make it work, it doesn't seem so anymore. You can't have a normal life because you're not meant to live a normal life. What means the most to you? What feels like you the most? Hold on to it and don't let anybody get in your mind about what you should do and who you should become. They think they know what's best for you, but no, they only know themselves. Everything they're talking to you, it's their wish, their dream, their hope. So let your dream speak for yourself. Even if you're on your healing journey, it's about you. It's about forgiving yourself from the past. It's about letting your memories go, so that the wound can heal itself. Nobody else can. And I'm literally really grateful if you get what I mean. If we don't heal ourselves, 
We will perceive. We will look at the opportunities. Look at people and ourselves through a broken and judgmental lens. And no matter how successful we are, we never experience the feeling of fulfillment and happiness. Maybe you're already successful, but you don't see it from your perspective because you're busy judging yourself. Oh, it's not enough. Oh, I'm not enough. Healing means stop seeking validation to cover up our emptiness. So realize how important it is to spend time with yourself to heal, bless your soul and your body with pure love. The pain you've been through, the sadness that you've been feeling, create some art from it. Build some towers from the cross. Write some blogs. Write some songs from your lost. Take more advantage of them. Because the literally treasure, those down moments, those low feelings, there's something precious about them, and we need to learn to appreciate and embody them. That's the power of the genuine alchemist. Turn every material into gold, and enjoy the journey of who you meant to be.